Multiple deaths reported as the remnants of Ida merged with the front to produce chaos. Contrary to popular belief, Times Square is actually awful. <laughs> start vlogging here because I forgot that they actually play music in the background. It's fashion week or like the week before or like a couple of days, a few days before fashion week and I am absolutely exhausted. I feel like I've been going to five million castings every day and then I'll probably end up booking one if that but we'll see. But yeah I'm just very tired. I probably look very tired but yeah I'm just grabbing dinner slash lunch and then I'm gonna head to my agency because they're having like a New York Fashion Week toast. The agents, the bookers, and a couple of the models are gonna meet at the agency and just kind of cheers to New York Fashion Week and do some mingling. I don't have a lot of time to like actually meet the other models in my agency, so it's gonna be nice to actually like meet them and put faces to the names that I've seen. I know you guys are probably tired of seeing the same restaurant in like all of my vlogs, but <laughs> I'm a picky eater and like I find a restaurant that I like and I go there all the time. Literally at Arepas in Soho like every single day and it's just a quick stop between castings because a lot of the castings are in the area and like when you come to Soho you know it's fashion week because you'll just see all the models and their casting also very loud over here but you'll just see all the models in their casting outfits and like that's how you know it's like New York Fashion Week. I think New York Fashion Week just makes me even more exhausted just because there's never really any planned time to rest like I could be taking a nap and my agent will text me like hey can you make this casting in like the next 30 minutes or like the next hour and I have to jump up and go. Well I don't have to but I'll jump up and go and so I think just the constant unknown of your schedule is like what makes me feel so tired all the time. But it's definitely worth the experience. I love Fashion Week. I did Fashion Week last year during the panorama, but it was much different. I didn't do any runway, I only did showroom, and the vibes just were not there. It was rainy, it was cold, and not a lot of people showed up to it, but I'm still glad I got to experience it. But this year, this season, it's definitely a different vibe. People are much more excited. A lot more models are back in the city and a lot more shows are actually happening like they're not canceling shows so it's it's good vibes I think it's gonna be a really good season my skin has been fluctuating between like clear and like breaking out right now I'm having a breakout hopefully it'll go away by next week but I've been wearing like more makeup for castings and stuff and so I think that's why my skin is breaking out but my skin always wants to break out when I have something important to do flooding siege in the Northeast. States of emergency in New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania. Multiple deaths reported as the remnants of Ida merged with the front to produce chaos. More than seven inches of rain in just a few hours. The Western Hemisphere's busiest subway system shut down. Many of the subway platforms flooded the night before due to Hurricane Ida, so you can see he's just sweeping the remainder of the water down the drain. 26 minutes for the train. Trains are excessively delayed because of the hurricane yesterday, so we have to wait hella long just for one train. Okay, so 
so I'm finally on the way to my agency's office but I am a little bit early so I'm kind of just like hanging around Times Square and then I'll walk over in like the next 10 minutes or so. Contrary to popular belief, Times Square is actually awful. <laughs> it's full of tourists and people who are just yelling at you and like throwing stuff and just being like completely irate. Um, so I really hate coming to Times Square, but a lot of my castings are in the area and my agency's in the area So I do have to come here often But I feel like the only people who really spend time around Times Square are people who work here or like tourists And so like people from New York know like Times Square is not where it's at like it's it's actually quite annoying get to meet some of the models on the board in person there are so many people that I've connected with via Instagram and it feels like we've actually met in person but we never have and so when we actually do meet in person it feels like we've known each other forever I signed to my agency at a really awkward time I signed at the end of 2019 and then shortly after that New York shut down because of the you know what so I'm really glad I got a chance to go it was nice to kind of just like let loose and release some of the stress from New York Fashion Week because I was literally just telling you guys that I felt exhausted so it was really nice to just kind of like unwind with my agency family but yeah I have to wake up early tomorrow because I have more castings to go to um, and my skin is breaking out yet again so I'm about to do my nighttime skincare routine and um, put on a face mask and call it a night. I'm not sure why my face is breaking out. I've been drinking a gallon a day um, consistently still and for the most part that cleared up my skin better than what it was looking like before but I think maybe I've eaten something recently that is just not um, agreeing with my skin and so my skin is just like going through the process of removing whatever that was from my body so I'm hoping by next week my skin will be clear again but yeah I'm about to do a face mask and hopefully that will clear my skin up a bit more but we'll see <laughs> oh my goodness you guys I literally look like the thing from us like the us movie oh my god <laughs> all right bye y'all Good morning, you guys. Happy Friday. I'm so excited. It's Friday. It's finally the weekend. I have been up since the crack of dawn this morning and I'm on my way to my first casting. I was a little nervous because I wasn't expecting it to be so cold this morning, but thankfully it seems to be warming up already. I'm vlogging. You're vlogging? You <laughs> vlog. I see you vlog all the time. I'm like, okay.
So the first casting was absolutely brutal. <laughs> I'm thankful for the opportunity to cast for New York Fashion Week and to just be in these spaces and represent for shorter girls. Sometimes you can always tell when casting directors have like a certain look that they're going for. So like when you walk out in front of them, they already know sometimes instantly whether or not they're gonna book you or not. So I could just tell that they weren't really feeling me because when I came out and she told me that I could walk, they weren't, they literally were not even watching me walk. They were head down talking the entire time. So I was like, okay, everybody's not gonna love you. In this industry, in the modeling industry, you really have to develop tough skin and realize that you're not gonna be selected for everything and that's okay. But I'm on my way to the second casting, so wish me luck. I ended up changing my outfit. I put a skirt on because it's warmer now and I just feel like this is a better casting outfit to like show off my legs. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so i am back home from all of my castings today i feel like overall they went pretty well like i said for the first one i was just being realistic you can kind of once you've been doing this for a while you can kind of tell whether or not casting directors like you or not sometimes it's hit or miss i'm really proud of myself you guys because i really just had to sit back and reflect today like this is what I have dreamed of and I'm really in New York living out my wildest dreams and it's amazing and it's only the beginning guys. This is only my second year back in New York, my second year pursuing my modeling career full time. Granted, most of my experience here has been during you know what and so the fact that I have been this successful in my career even in a you know what um i can only imagine like how far my career is going to take me once we are completely back to normal so i'm just full of gratitude and i'm thankful for these experiences and i'm thankful to be in these spaces and meeting amazing people and i was just talking to um another one of the girls from my agency and i was saying that it seems like a lot of the models are way more personable this season i don't know if it was because we spent a year completely isolated and like not going to in-person casting and like not seeing each other in person but models are so much nicer these days like I'm showing up to my castings and I'm showing up to my bookings and I have models coming up to me like hi like what's your name I'm so-and-so like hi like what agency are you with blah 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 and granted like models weren't like evil before but um sometimes like models have like this reputation of kind of being a little bit standoffish and like competitive I ordered Chinese food, guys. Hold on. I got my Chinese food, guys. But yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, about models. They're a lot more friendly this season, and so that's amazing to see. Um, I definitely can see myself actually making some friends in the industry uh, this season, so that's good. Um, but I'm really hungry and I'm really sleepy, so I'm about to eat this Chinese food and take a cat nap and then do some editing and just work from home for the rest of the day. I feel like I've been ripping and running every day. And honestly, in New York, even if you're not necessarily doing a lot, just the hour commutes on the train, the walking, it can kind of be a lot and then it'll, it'll make you feel like really, really tired, like you've been doing a million things. Really, you just like went to Manhattan and back. But I hope that I book at least one show this season. It'll be really amazing. That will mean that I will have booked a show each season that I've each New York Fashion Week season that I've been living in New York and that's a major accomplishment especially for a model who's not like 5'10", 5'11". So stay tuned as I will continue to keep you guys updated on all of the New York Fashion Week shenanigans. But until then I will catch you in the next video. Bye!